Hey everyone, uh, yeah, I managed to get a pretty good deal on some hydroponics gear. So today's video, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing with it. Uh, it's a lot of the secondhand stuff. Got it from a guy who's not growing chilies. Uh, I think he probably paid around about 420 for all this, but uh, I got it for a fraction of that. So yeah, we'll go through all the little bits that I've I managed to get hold of and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So originally I was just looking around for some equipment that I was going to build out a timer for my custom hydroponic system and I came across this on eBay and this is basically the same unit that I have in my polytunnel for my hydroponic system and it works really well but it is pretty expensive for what it is but on eBay I managed to see this for about a third of the price that it uh, that is going for uh, brand new. Uh, it is the smaller one than I have. I have the XL version, so the pipes are bigger, the pumps are bigger. This here is a, a newer M1000. The ones that I have inside mine are the M3000. And the M3000 is actually used in the main tank to pump the water into this control bucket. So weirdly enough, this is being used to drain. The other two things that are interesting in here is the way that it detects how full the system is and obviously how far it should drain. So you don't burn out any pumps, and you don't flood anything. And that's these little switches. So I've been using something a little different. I'll show you as well when we go inside the greenhouse uh, what I've been doing. It works, but yeah, this is just a lot neater, and a lot more accurate. I uh, did get a couple of pumps, so I got that that thousand over there, I've got this thousand over here as well, and uh, yeah, all in all, what I paid for this, it probably would pay for those two pumps. Now this here is the same brand, so IWS is the brand, this here is another timer, this is a little bit more simple, all this one does is you set it on 15 minute cycles, and what happens is it'll flood for that whole 15 minutes and then drain, which isn't really a problem because I'm flooding for about 35 minutes on my big system. On the smaller system uh, that I'm gonna put this one onto, I wouldn't be running for half an hour. It doesn't need that because it floods and uh, drains very, very quickly. So I can actually run this probably about five minutes. This one here, unfortunately, you can't do that. But I think I have some other projects that I can use this with, and I got it for a pretty good price again. And uh, we have another pump in there, another NJ1000. So, yeah, i got some cool projects. And uh, then he showed me these. So he's got these IWS pots. This is for a, uh, a different type of system. So that's ebb and flood. This here is for deep water culture, or DWC. So essentially, this, you just fill it up with your nutrients. You have this over here, uh, net cup goes inside, so it just touches on the nutrients underneath. Net cup has uh, clay pebbles, and you're going to have your plant in here. You're also going to be running some air pumps in here to keep the water aerated. So he had three of these but he had another three buckets. These ones here are a little different. It's the exact same buckets, but you can see it has the holes going straight through the bottom. So these can be interconnected and you can make another small hydroponic system with that. So these three buckets interconnected, then you could circulate water through it or you could do another flooding. So what I might do is maybe use that system over there plug it into this, maybe get a few more of these if I can get hold of them at a decent price, and then have another ebb and flood system, but we'll see. Those there I'm going to run as DWC, just to test it out. I haven't really been a fan of that in the past, I like my ebb and flood, but hey, why not? It's a nice compact system. And uh, on top of that, I was also handed off these, so I bought these pots from him as well. I think I paid around about, what is it, 40 quid, 50 quid, 50 quid for the buckets, but also including all these air pumps. <laughs> we got a few here, this is a beast of an air pump. And then we've got another four down there. And we also have a bunch of air stones. Uh, lots and lots of air stones in there. Probably using one of these in each of these buckets. And yeah, that'll do the job. So 
pretty pleased with that. Oh, got one last thing, a uh, little thing, but it, this does add up when you're having to buy all these parts separately. Over here is my polytunnel where I do most of my hydroponics. I believe we have about 36 pots in here. It is the XL version, so the piping is quite a bit bigger. I think it's 32 millimeters, but the other one is 16 millimeters, so quite a bit smaller, which means it'll be quite difficult to flood it as quickly as I need. Even though this one is actually not that quick, I would prefer it to be a little bit quicker. It still works very well. This is the third year running this, and already we can see the plants are doing nicely. But this here, it's the same system you can see there. Same control box, same unit up there. Uh, let's have a look inside. You can see the pump is quite a bit bigger. It's busy doing a, a cycle now of draining the system. So basically it all drains from those pots back into this control bucket and then uh, pumps out back into the reservoir. And the reservoir has another pump which then when this timer kicks in, will automatically come through. So I have this on at the moment, I think it's every four hours that it's running, and uh, it's doing a great job. But I'm basically replicating the system over in my greenhouse. Let's go and check that out. I've been potting up, that's why all this stuff is out here still, I need to put it all away. I've uh, been cleaning out my hydrogen for my hydroponic system inside there. So that's why that's all out there. That's all nice and clean now. So let's take a look at my custom system. Now I have done an in-depth build video. You can check it out. It's when I did a, a grow off against uh, Pepper Geek to create a monster plant. Uh, but basically it's the same concept. You are working with a reservoir over here. I have a single one at the moment, but I'm actually going to connect this to that one over there. So I'll have double the capacity. It'll just make it a lot easier for what I'm going to be doing. I have the brain, which is the, the unit where all the flooding happens and controls the level of the water in the buckets where the actual growing is happening. I only have two buckets coming off at the moment, but I am adding a third one. Uh, you can see down there, that's the outlets coming out of this unit. Uh, but I will be adding a third one and that'll definitely mean I need uh, two of these connected. So the way it works, you've got this outer, which is just a very inexpensive container, bucket, and uh, inside it I'm placing another bucket, and that's going to have hydrogen inside there and the plant is going to be in here. Um, the holes are big enough that it stops the hydrogen from flowing out and allows the water to come in, it floods this on a cycle, and then drains it back into the reservoir. So exact same concept. Uh, the way I have it set up currently is a little bit of a rigged up situation. Uh, normally this is all inside a container, uh, a project box, but I've just been working with it at the moment. That's why it's all out there, but there's an Uno, which is basically running as the timer. Uh, I've wired up these wires connecting to these floats. You can see inside there float switches, which is what I'm going to be removing. They're fine, but I think the, uh, the other float switches I showed you earlier, I'll be putting them in here, it'll work a lot better. But those float switches are connected through to this, running through a relay, which controls the two pumps. There's a pump inside here, and the other pump was one of these. They were both, actually, these pumps here. It's a very inexpensive pump with a huge flow rate. So basically it's a bilge pump, but it is 12 volts, and uh, yeah, I just, I'm not happy with working with 12 volts. It means I have to use a inverter like that, and yeah, it's just a bit of a pain. So I'm switching over to different pumps, but these are fantastic. I've used them in quite a few projects. Massive flow rate, and these things cost about 10 quid. <laughs> so not expensive. I was running one of those inside the, the, uh, the brain of the unit down there, and I, I still have one in here. You can actually see how well it works. So let me switch this on. Okay, so that's going to be bulge, bulge pump, pumping water through there from the reservoir. And uh, as that fills up, it fills up those containers there as well as there. So once this fills up 
to where it needs to be, the float switch will be raised enough that it will then switch it off and uh, stop the pump from running so you don't get things uh, flooding. And then there's a second float switch in there that'll allow this to switch off once it gets to the bottom. But like I said, I'll be switching those out, it'll be, be a lot more accurate. But you can see how this works, it's filling up those containers there. They will fill up obviously a lot quicker with the other pump I'm going to be adding. But still, I mean that would actually be full already by now because normally you'd have that bucket in there full of uh, roots and clay pebbles. Anyway, let's switch this off. So that's switched off and that's now got the water in there. And now we switch on the other pump, which is inside there. It's the NJ3000, so that's 3000 liters per hour. And that is now pumping out into my filter system, which is from a couple videos back where I showed you how to make this. It works really well, but yeah, that pumps out of there. This pump is gonna stay in there. I'm gonna put the same pump in here as well. So it's over here, actually. The newer NJ3000. This is the other one that I still need to add in. And uh, we'll connect that all up to the, well, I'll be stripping those things down for parts and sticking it on over there. So let me get that done. I'll show you how this will work once we have that all set up. I can hear it pumping through here. If we look in there. That's the new pump running as well from there. And that is now filling up the buckets. So what I've done here is just to show how this actually works. We have the clay balls inside here. You can see down the side, hopefully you can see down there the water filling up and that'll then wet the balls and do its job. So I'll set my own schedule which will be once every four hours. Uh, that's generally a good rule of thumb. But yeah that's filling up again and that'll fill up until it reaches that little switch. So let's just wait for that to happen. There we go, come on. Let's clean out the plastic from drilling holes in this thing. There you go, it's turned off, perfect. It's working exactly as it should. And that's at the water level I want it to be. And so is this. Basically, you don't want this thing floating around. Um, yeah, you can feel the wetness there. And you can see the water down the side. And then if I want this to drain, I'll just force it to drain now. So just cancel feed. And that then starts the drain pump, which is going over here. 
and that they will empty until it gets to the bottom switch over there, the float switch. I'm pleased with that. Good few hours of work and uh, managed to save myself a whole bucket of money. You know, these systems are quite expensive. They are worth it, but if you can get hold of some of these timers and little bits and pieces for a bit of a discount on eBay, that sort of thing, then yeah, go for it. IWS Pro uh, Brain. Have a search on eBay, you might get lucky and find yourself a bargain as well. And you can do some very cool stuff with it. I will keep you updated what I do with the deep water culture, uh, the DWC system that I'm gonna build. Uh, that'll be a future video. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. But I think today we're done. Um, I'm pretty knackered. The sun is going down and it's starting to get a little bit cold at the moment. So uh, until the next video, thanks so much for watching and stay spicy.